So uh, this is one of the vines that I mentioned. Very noticeable in March when it's covered with yellow fragrant flowers. This is the yellow jessamine or Carolina jessamine. It's, uh, it's an evergreen, very drought tolerant, and um, again, lots of flowers in March. Desert, a, a, from a group of desert plants, and like I said, most of the water that lands on this granite runs right off, so it might not, have, might as well never have fallen in the first place. And so, uh, very hot and dry here in the summer. Perfect weather, perfect climate for prickly pear cactus. Perfect climate for this yucca that people call Georgia bear grass, yucca filamentosa. We have peak nut hickory, which is the main hickory that's found on granite outcrops. This is not as common a tree on granite outcrops, but it's not rare to find white ash. This is the, the traditional tree that the baseball bats were made from, white ash. The uh, most common oak on Panola Mountain is this white, a uh, uh, water oak. The water oak is distinguished by having the leaves broad near the tip, much broader near the tip than they are at the base. Really, Adam? My hand. <laughs> I showed a picture of fringe tree in bloom in April, it's got white dangling frilly flowers that are fragrant. Now those flowers have been replaced by young fruit. When this fruit is mature, it'll be blue-black. This is a member of the olive family, and these are very much like miniature olives, and they're not ripe yet. When they are ripe, they'll, they'll, they'll be the blue-black, and they'll be mostly a big hard pit just like an olive. So. Fringe tree. Old man's beard or grancy gray beard. What do you call a fringe tree? What do you call the, the, the leaf pattern on that? Is that not palmate? But... Well, I would describe these leaves, first of all, as being opposite. Uh -huh. They come off directly opposite each other on the stem. Most of our trees are alternate leaves. It's also, uh, you know, sort of broadest towards the middle and tapering towards either end. So this is what you call elliptic. Or if it's a little bigger towards the tip than in the middle, you can call that uh, lanceolate. 